I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, oh, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Triss participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. Foltest told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Foltest did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing, for I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. <laughs> Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. Vess is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? 
Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Engerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we um, teach him a lesson for what he did to Fultest. I'll not touch the scum. I... Guard, come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again, and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Your guts out! Damn torches. I can't sneak out in this light. There 
miss Lily. I hope you miss me as much. Very romantic, I'll admit, but uh, leave you be. You'll be well satisfied when I. You sign. Go plow yourself. Anais and Goosey are my children. One signature, and you'll hear the poem no more. Never. A dog tore into kitchen. Your own appointment's not due tomorrow. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. You'll see me today. Death than you, Witcher. I thought about letting the Reaper in first. Why are you here? Had a date with the Hangman. Why? They say I killed Foltest. Shame. I'd hoped to do that myself. But tell me, what of my mother? 
Did Foltest hurt her? He ordered the Blue Stripes to guard her like some invaluable treasure. Soon afterward, he was dead himself. But you did not slay him? No, Arian. I didn't kill him. Do you know who did? No, but I intend to find out. We should go. We'll start by making our way to the oil store. I cannot walk unaided. You must help me. Lean on me. Done with him, Hangman! We're to take the corpse! Damn it. Hangman's so into his victim, he can't hear us. What the? Shout. Ah! I will not sign! Never! Ooh, he's a stubborn cocksucker. Best not disturb him. Hangman will bring him out when he's done. I think they bought it. We need to be careful. I'll wait here. Return for me once you've cleared the way. Fuck you up the arse! You motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill you, hear me? I'll rip your brick off and beat your head in with it! This way. Second door on the left. That's the oil store. nothing you can do here. I've more to do now than ever before. Alone? I need no one's aid for what I aim to accomplish. Is that your final word? Farewell, Witcher. Blimey, is that you, Witcher? They 
say you killed the king? Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Scoia'tael? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorvath or some such. Mm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea. But it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Slayer's escaped! We need to cut him off! Follow me! All right! Let's go! Geralt! Over here! Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. Peace and quiet. I'm impressed. The boys were betting you'd turn the dungeon into another Blaviken. Can we sail? That peace and quiet might disappear irretrievably at any moment. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. I ran into a hangman torturing Arian Lavalette, trying to force him to confess to incestuous relations with his mother. Foltest's children were to be Arians. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain!
Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his name. But that same Honor prevented him from saving himself. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edirne, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Foltes to start with. I barely escaped in Edirne. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf?
Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. Bad time of the month. Let's move! Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your vet rules the forest. Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? A dwan even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this piss! Stanley!
discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Get up. The spell's still working. Stay close. Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Oh, Who did you think we were? Oh, like a flower of one of your commandos. I'm a woman. I noticed. I'm really sick. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that training post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waiting. Triss! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Skoyan salad sake! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Did like you say that? Squirrels that are very wolves. Yorvet led them. Mutant. I saw him with my own eyes. Who are these blokes? They're the ones who held the chicks. I think the stew's ready. Why, it will Artist of worst. You like what is stirred? Zoltan. Dandelion. My father. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. 
No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Dog catcher. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! I don't give a shit. Stop the execution. Careful, Wanderer! You could lose your tongue for that. I've heard of you and know you can fight, but you'll not take on the whole garrison. Oi, Tin Man, that's pure rubbish. You're talking to the famed Geralt of Rivia, you are. Commandant Laredo rules this town, and it's his orders I follow. Piss off, Jesters, before I have you beaten good. You're a disgrace to your uniform, you shitty little idiot. What? Hey, boys, lend me a hand here. Got an uppity little one that needs a thrashing. Take a swing. I dare you. Can't turn that down! Get him! Beat the witch up here! Assaulted an officer! They'll hang anyway! You freeze! What to squirm with the others? They'll hang anyway! Get out! Assaulted an officer! Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! Freak! Want to squirm with the others? Look here! Assaulted an officer! Kick him in the balls! Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! They'll hang anyway! going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Are you in command here? Forgive me. Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brother. Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. An axe. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. 
Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, and they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Hmm, I need a spot. Might find something interesting here. Damn, that was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, 
A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even me, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoyatels, Alton. I have done many things in my life, Geralt. But I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. The dragon... well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated. And it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions. Spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. <laughs> Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited, and neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalet Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvid Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. 
Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Stay away from me! Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Oh, you're trying that black magic on me? Come on, lads! This sorcerer's eager for a thrashing! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. 
Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. <laughs>